Bimanga National Park is a protected area in New South Wales, Australia, 408 km south of Sydney and 40 km north of Vega. The park forms part of the Ulladulla to Marimbula important bird area because of its importance for swift parrots. Its name derives from Ewan Elder Bimanga, aka King Jack Mumbala, after whom Mumbala Mountain was also named. It is an important Aboriginal site for the Ewan people and a prominent landmark that can be seen from across the Bega Valley, also known as Bayamanga. Proclaimed in 1994 and extended in 1997, the park covers 13,617 hectares. It is seen by the traditional owners as part of a single cultural landscape with the Gulaga National Park, and also has cultural links to Umbera, Barumuba, and Dathal. In November 2021 Mumbala Mountain was ascribed the dual name of Bayamanga. The mountain is the remnants an ancient shield volcano, and granite rock formations and boulders are visible along the course of Mumbala Creek. The park lies in the lands of one of the Yuan peoples, who have inhabited the area for thousands of years. Extensive logging was taking place in the area up until the 1970s, and in 1967 some of the rock was blasted with dynamite in the interests of improving television reception, and a television transmitter tower for wind for was built on the mountain. After concerns had been raised by local people, the NSW government set up an advisory committee in 1977 to investigate the wood chipping industry and in the same year 1977 Gubu Ted Thomas, a UN elder, led a protest against the destruction of the forest on Mumbala Mountain. On July 15, 1980, the New South Wales government declared an area of around 7,540 hectares an Aboriginal place and a protected archaeological area under the National Parks and Wildlife Act 1974. The park was proclaimed in 1994 and extended in 1997. Further protests against logging activities took place in 2010. On November 30, 2021 Mumbala Mountain was ascribed the dual name of Bayamanga. The park covers 13,617 hectares. It is seen by the traditional owners as part of a single cultural landscape with the Gulaga National Park. There are monkey gums and ribbon gum along the creeks, and the park is home to Chef's Capcoria, an endangered species. The park forms part of the Ulladulla to Marimbula important bird area, identified as such by BirdLife International because of its importance for swift parrots. Azure kingfishers and superb fairy wrens abound in the park. Bimanga has been jointly managed by the traditional owners and the National Parks and Wildlife Service NSW since 2006. The traditional custodians are represented by two local Aboriginal land councils, the Merrimans and Bega Lalks, which own the title to the land and lease it back to the New South Wales government for use as a national park. The mountain and surrounds have important cultural links to Umbera, Barumuba, and Dathal. The mountain is of particular significance to the people of Wallaga Lake. The park contains important Aboriginal sites, in particular by Manga, also known as Mumbala Mountain, which is part of large ceremonial and cultural track on the south coast of New South Wales that includes other Aboriginal sacred sites of particular importance to the Yuan peoples. The mountain was named after Yuan leader King Jack Mumbala, aka Jack Mumbler, whose tribal name was Bayamanga. King Jack would spend time communing with the ancestor spirits on the highest peak of the mountain and send smoke signals for his people to see. Initiation ceremonies were held by Yuan people at various spots on the mountain, with the last recorded one held there in 1918. It has been described as a men's law mountain. Independent evidence of the sacredness of the site was provided in 1964 by linguist Louisa Herkus and by musician and linguist Janet Matthews, but only made publicly available in the late 1970s, as well as by notes made much earlier by Alfred William Howitt, an ethnologist who attended a UN initiation ceremony in 1883. The Bayamanga protest site is of additional significance both to you and, and to all other Indigenous Australians, as a representation of embodying the Australian Aboriginal campaign for land rights and Aboriginal self-determination. Thanks for watching.